what's up dorks cool guy designs here and today we're going to learn how to create custom crop marks over any object in adobe illustrator so let's get started okay the artwork that i'm going to be using today is this uh, anaheim mighty ducks logo from worldvectorlogo.com uh, you can just download the svg here if you want to follow along using the same artwork as me but this tutorial works with any artwork so let's just uh yes yeah, go with that all right now get in into illustrator let's go to file new I was going to name this Mighty Ducks Crop or something like that. Uh, for the uh, width and height, I'm going to choose 10 inches by 10 inches. We could change that later if we want to. Uh, and yeah, you can choose the uh, actual increment or unit here. And uh, yeah, we are going to, you know, fake that we're printing this. Um, so let's keep this in CMYK as CMYK is a printing uh, process color mode and RGB is a light based color mode. So let's go with CMYK. Okay, now that we have that open, um, if you want your workspace to look like mine, you can go to Window, Workspace, and Essentials Classic. I'm just going to hit Reset Essentials Classic. Um, so you should see um, everything that I'm seeing right here and be able to follow along a little bit easier. All right, now that we have that done, uh, let's just place our artwork by going to File, Place. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, the SVG that I showed at the beginning. All right, and I place that in here, and it's uh, pretty big, um, but I just want to get rid of some stuff first. I want to get rid of this white box and this black circle. So the way, I, the way that I'm going to do that is by going to Direct Select. You can hit A on your keyboard. Let's just click those and delete them. So now that we just have this. Okay, I have this now. Um, I, I want to reduce it into our artboard, but... I think there are some strokes in this artwork, so if we reduce it, right, yeah, these markings uh, in the hockey mask kind of get blown out. Um, so to um, to get rid of that, what we're going to do is go to Object and Expand, and you should get this dialog box, and uh, yeah, if, if you expand it, it um, kind of looks like it's still the same, but now those strokes are now turned into fills. So you can uh, scale them just any way you want. All right, let's just center this real quick by going to Align, Align to Artboard. Yeah, center that up. Okay, now that we have this in here, um, if you see, we have a kind of white layer that is on the outside. Um, I don't want to change that color so I can see it against the white, so I just want to put a different color background so the way that I'm going to do that is by going to my layers here. You can also just go to window layers. And uh, let's name this layer one the actual artwork. But let's create a layer underneath it called background. We'll just click and drag and pull that under our artwork. And now we can pull um, you know, just a square color on our background. So let's just go to the rectangle tool and just click anywhere to bring up this dialog box and let's just put in 10 by 10 just because I know that's what my artwork is we can just center that up okay I don't want it to be black let's make it a cooler color than that so I'm just gonna go to my swatches let's just pick yeah this purple I think looks pretty cool all right, so now we have uh, this purple artwork. So let's uh, lock this layer by going to layer, and then we'll go to this side of the little eye eyeball toggle, and we'll just toggle the lock on. So now we can click and drag, and won't we'll move move around that um, background. Uh, but since we are planning on printing this, we need to tell Illustrator and the printer that we don't want this purple to print. It's not a part of the artwork that we're actually printing. So let's go here and let's double click. So we can pull up these layer options. And if you see, you have some uh, check boxes here. And let's just uncheck print. And now you'll see the background goes into an italic. And uh, yeah, that just means that this is a non-printable layer. So it will print like this, even though it looks like this in the artwork. So this is pretty useful. And yeah, if you want to, like, have a little extra, you know, noise in there, you know, you can just put do not print. So kind of... People have a way to see that. All right. 
So now that we have all of that work done, um, let's actually create the crop marks around this. Um, but we're going to have a little extra challenge. Let's pull this kind of off like this. Um, so we're not working in the direct center of our artwork because um, in professional design, you don't always have the luxury of creating artwork in the center of an artboard. Sometimes you have to do it way off to the side. And yeah, so you, we don't want to rely on um, our align tools and centering. So uh, let's kind of pull it off just somewhere. And uh, we want to create first a box, just kind of like this transform box you see when you select the artwork. We want to create a box like that around the artwork. Um, so we're going to do that by just creating a literal rectangle around it um, by using the, uh, yeah, the rectangle tool. But let's uh, kind of make note of the width and the height of this artwork. Let's go ahead and just copy this width actually by highlighting and hitting Command C. Okay, and now let's create our rectangle. Just hit M and I'm just clicking to bring this dialog box up. I know it's I know that was what we copied for the width. Just kind of pull this away. And let's go ahead and copy the height from our artwork and apply it to our rectangle. Oops. As you see, um, yeah, I tried to apply it and it got smaller. That's because I have it constrained. So let's actually click that lock so we have the slash through it. And now we can paste that height. Okay. Let's, we want to change this to a stroke by just hitting this uh, swap. And let's uh, create a different color than purple because we won't be able to see it. By going to swatches, make sure your stroke's highlighted and hit magenta. Okay, now we have this magenta uh, outline box that we're going to pull over our artwork. Um, we can kind of pull it roughly. Um, I also have smart guides on. You can go to view smart guides to help a little bit, but smart guides aren't always foolproof, and I'm a fool. So we're going to kind of place this about Right, smart guides helped us out a little, but I do kind of want to make sure that all of my artwork is inside of this box because I don't want any like blunt edges. I want those corners to be sharp. So I need to get to a really fine level. I can see it kind of overlapping here. So yeah, this this looks like we need to stretch it out, but I, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, so the way that I'm going to do that is go to view. And outline mode and outline mode is pretty important when you're trying to uh, yeah create like fine measurement and precise artwork so we're gonna zoom in literally to 64,000 percent and it gets to the point where the vectors themselves kind of get hard to see so we're just gonna pull it right to that edge they kind of reduce or um, zoom back out. All right, looks like this edge is a little bit higher than that edge, so still in outline mode. Let's just kind of go in like that, reduce it. That goes to that corner pretty well. Check these corners. That one's lower, so we're fine there. Zooming into this, that corner looks pretty good. I mean, we could maybe move it out a little bit. But I actually, I think that's fine. And we'll go to this bottom. And we'll just pull that one down. And that looks pretty good. Um, let's just hit Command Y to get back out of outline mode. And uh, that's a pretty clean... Um, yeah, square around our our object. We had to, you know, expand it a little bit just to so we didn't clip that corner at all. But this is kind of what we want to see. So now I'm gonna just click. I'm just gonna drag this in a little bit just so we have room for the crop mark here. All right. So now that we have this box, we are ready to actually create the crops that we want. Um. So let's just go back to our rectangle tool. Let's just click in here. Um, you, we can make our crops whatever we want. Um, I think I'm going to go with 0.25 by 0.25. I think that's a good size. 
and now I can pull that crop or that square just to that corner but still we're just gonna go into outline mode by hitting command Y and just zoom in that looks clean as cl yeah just zoom in as far as we can go just to make sure that that is just corner to corner oops I kinda sped through that let me explain um, and now I just wanna copy this square over to this side so let's just hold option while we hover we can click and drag and hold shift Let's just pull it until we see that smart guide to help us snap. But again, let's go in and kind of make sure that it's clean. This one looks a little off. So again, yeah, smart guides help, but they're not foolproof all the time. So yeah, just a little adjustment there. That, that looks clean now. Okay. And now that we have those done, we just want to copy both of those to the bottom. So highlight or select both of them by holding shift and now while holding option click and drag and hold shift and we'll just pull it all the way to the bottom here until we see that intersect going across the artwork then we'll go command Y one more time that one looks clean so this one should be good too yep nothing off there all right so that is exactly what we wanted. So now that we have this uh, shape, we can click our original box and get rid of it because we don't really need it anymore. And now we just want to delete the outermost anchor points of all of these squares. So let's just go to our direct select. And we're just going to click that those outer anchor points. I'm just going to hold shift and click the other ones. And once you have all of them highlighted, just hit delete on your keyboard. You'll say shapes expanded. And yeah, now we have uh, custom crop marks that don't touch the artwork, but they actually are at the outermost edges that the artwork would print. So this is really helpful for printers. And uh, yeah, again, a uh, reason that we do this is we may want to put multiple versions of artwork on the same page and don't have uh, the luxury Oops, I didn't get all of my crops. Let's try that again. And yeah, uh, don't have the luxury of uh, yeah, just using an entire artboard that is the shape that you know, or the size that we want to send to the printer. You know, they may want to see you know some different looks, and just kind of uh, yeah, we make a cool style sheet with custom crops on a colored background that does not print, and uh, yeah, they can make a little style sheet or something. So this is pretty useful in professional design. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, like and subscribe and all that stupid stuff, or not, you know, just glad you watched the video. Uh, thanks for stopping by. All right, take it easy. Bye.